What's happening, people? Welcome back to Wise Up TV, where today we're breaking down Stacey Jones's Kiwi squad for this upcoming Pacific Championships, starting in about two to three weeks' time. Uh, it looks exciting. It's a lot of young players, a uh, lot to go break down, actually. Uh, so if you are here for the first time, please give us a like and subscribe uh, to Wise Up TV. We will be covering all of the Pacific Championships and the internationals in England versus Samoa. So. This is the best place for you if you love your international footy. So hang out with us for the next month uh, here on Wires Up TV. Let's just quickly break down some things before we get into the squad. That uh, ultimately, there's about ten missing players uh, currently from the Kiwi squad um, from last year's team that put the thirty nil on the Kangaroos. Mulatalo is out with a knee. Dylan Brown, uh, Kieran Foran. Moses Liotta, we just found out that he has a shoulder issue. Uh, Brandon Smith, obviously, ACL. Jeremy Marshall King, who is, unfortunately hasn't played since 2022 World Cup. Nico is a big loss with the ankle. Um, to Mighty Martin, obviously, with the neck. So all those are probably up to... Uh, Nas is out for suspension as well. So up to 9 to 10 of our actual starters, or close to, are out. So there's no wonder that when you look at this team here... Uh, there's a lot of potential deputants, uh, deputants there as well. So let's break it down anyway. But that's just to give you some context as to how many we've lost and potentially how it will impact the Pacific Championships. Obviously, it's going to play a role. And I'm not doubting that the Aussies uh, squad as well has taken an impact. No Nathan Cleary. Um, so there's some quality missing from their team as well. But uh, it impacts us because obviously we don't have the... Uh, so-called numbers, I'd say, yeah, and in key positions such as the spine to uh, really replace like for like at times, like how the kangaroos can, but we still have some quality players. Uh, we'll go through each position, um, but as you can see here on the list, uh, let's firstly break down uh, the fullback position. So Keanu Kinney and CNK are, are the ones that kind of stand out Um CNK, we know he's had kind of a mixed season. Um, you're thinking maybe a few weeks off uh, and being in the Kiwis camp, he was the player of the tournament, I believe, or the player of the final last year. There's no scrub and he understands what it means to wear the Kiwis jersey and what it represents. Um, I think ultimately uh, he will keep his fullback position, but there are options there, especially with the likes of Kenny, who probably on paper had... Uh, and, and, and on the field probably had a better season than CNK. So there is an argument for Kenny. Now, you'd never think you see the name Peter Hiku again in the Kiwis jersey, um, uh, but it's there. Now, Hiku does have experience at fullback if you're looking for your third option, if you're really struck by injuries. And I think the last option I've got there is Isako. So there's about four guys there. Um, but I would probably have it ranked as CNK or Kenny at, at the top. Kenny uh, hasn't technically had a debut yet, I don't believe. So this might be his opportunity to get himself uh, finally in the squad, um, as he was, I think, like in, in the in, on the bench or in the extended squad for last Pacific Championship. So wouldn't be surprised uh, surprised for Smokey that he does get an opportunity because you'll see in other parts of the field CNK does come up as an option. Uh, right wing, typically he suckle as a right winger. And now he suckles important for us because of goal kicking, amazing goal kicker. He was quite valuable in the 30 nil. Obviously got the, all of his kicks over, I believe, in that final. So we need him. But the other option is a Will Warbrick, who is a typical right winger. I'm going to say they're going to move Isako to the left wing, um, just based off to accommodate the right wing spot for Warbrick. Now, I don't, it's not obviously natural for uh, Isako. I'm not sure if he's played much of left wing, but uh, I suppose you want to accommodate Warbrick after such a great year. Um, and if Jermaine can move out to the left side, then, you know, win win for us because we've got a th aerial threat in Warbrick. And we've got an amazing goal kicker and player in his circle. Uh, we're moving to right centre. I think Timoko is the top man there. But I would love to see this inclusion of Casey McLean. I've been speaking about it uh, since uh, the talk around the internationals. That Casey McLean, if we're short on players, obviously Joey Manu has just gone over to Japan. That Casey McLean is a future prospect for the Kiwis. Now, I, I believe he's born in New South Wales and Australia. I know his parents are Kiwi. Um, I saw him this year through on the Panthers. He's come through the system. He still sits behind Tango uh, and Alamotti, but he's a prospect for the future. I thought he might go the origin route. I thought he might go with Australia, but it's great to have him here in the Kiwis camp and that he's committed to the Kiwis 
and I think he's going to be a star of the future, obviously. Um, but I think he will sit, McLean might sit second or even third behind Hiku. Now, I haven't watched much of Peter Hiku, but I know he played mainly right centre for us at the Warriors. Um, he's done a good job over the years for the Kiwis. He's part of that 2014, I believe, for Nations. So he's been around for a long time, experience. Ideally, though, uh, it's kind of a backward step. And for me, that you know, Peter's time in the Kiwis jersey is probably done. He's playing in the lesser league in the Super League. No doubt he's in the final this weekend. So he, uh, he's obviously been having a great season. Maybe this is a call for just utility role, experience, but maybe not see the field. I think it might be that case, uh, unless we are really injury uh, stripped. Now, the other option is obviously Muo to the left centre. He does actually <laughs> come up there as a potential option. Um, because we miss out on Joseph Manu, which is a massive loss for the Kiwis. But then CNK does present the option there, has played one game. Um, I think he played right centre. He did play on the left centre for the Kiwis in 2022 World Cup. So maybe Hiku does get in. Smokey for me would be McLean. McLean getting an opportunity would be great to blood him in. I don't think he'd be out of his depth fully. Um, I think he's... Uh, it come from a great system at Penrith. He doesn't look out of place un amongst that Penrith team. Um, so yeah, Smokey for me would be to see McLean actually play. But CNK or Hiku might be an opportunity there. Uh, I'll stick with CNK at the moment. Um, but Hiku, based on his experience, is a genuine centre option. I know there's, there was the opportunity for other potential Kiwi players. Uh, Mariner, I know he might uh, go for Samoa. Um, a few others that could have filled in at the centre role, but now that you see we had two top centres in Timoko and Manu lose one and there is a bit of a drop-off based on injuries as well that um, it doesn't seem like we are have a full quality centre, especially on the left side in my opinion. Uh, in the halves, we've got Nikorima, I think will we'll take out that main spot, uh, but the Toilo, Trent Toilo, who I've watched a little bit of the New South Wales Cup uh, Panther squad, looks quite the goods. He looks like a running half. Has a, has, a, has a good running game, has a short kicking game. Uh, I doubt he will get an opportunity in this camp. He'll probably sit on the extended squad, but great for him to get into camp, be around it, uh, around the Kiwis, and especially looking towards the future. Halves has always been a traditionally area that we've struggled to hold players in. So I, I would look forward to seeing uh, Tolo be around the camp. I hope that he doesn't need to play, but if he does, I think he might be able to do a fill-in role to support a Jerome Hughes. But Nikorima probably is at the top of that list. And then probably third uh, is probably Crossland. But you'll see Crossland will probably be our starting hooker. And CNK is another option. CNK, um, you could say Hiku maybe is the fifth option. But I think CNK is posing a bit of an option in different places. Uh, so it's be interested to see where he ends up being uh, in this team. And... Uh, as for for halfbacks, obviously Jerome Hughes, Dalian winner, um, grand finalist. Didn't have the greatest game, unfortunately, in the grand final, but still a quality player. When he has the pieces around him, when he has the forward pack that can get him to go forward, he can. He's a d damaging uh, runner of the ball off, quick play of the ball, solid kicking game, everything that we need. And uh, I think he's going to step up in this arena again, like he did last year. But then if he does get injured, you've got Nikorima there, you've got Toilo and Crossland again. Same with those guys. Um, Toilo, if, if I, I would say Toilo would get opportunity because Crossland would be probably our starting hooker based on what I've seen. And there isn't actually, again, same thing this year. We don't have the depth due to two injuries that are identical last year, JMK and Brandon Smith, but we'll get into that. Um, so, yeah, Hughes and Nikorima at the moment. Um, then we go into the front row, obviously, Fisher Harris, captain, what an amazing four peep. Uh, it's a shame Moses couldn't play. I understand he's had a shoulder injury, but to have our captain there representing, uh, we get a good look at him uh, before he comes over to us at the Warriors. But we're just excited to bring his experience, his energy, his mana that he brings to the team. Um, but in terms of props underneath it, I think Leo Thompson fills the role of Moses Leota. Obviously, it's not fully like for like, but Leo brings that energy as well. Then for me, it's Nafahu White underneath him. Nafahu has been awesome off the bench uh, for the Roosters. So Nafahu for me will be an absolute beast uh, if he gets his opportunity. And then Griffin Neem is that last guy for me. I know Griffin played above Nafahu last year, but I do feel as though Nafahu has kind of uh, eclipsed him or, or gone above him this year. And I'd love to see him as our kind of impact forward. 
unfortunately we're not going to get Nas and we won't have that same impact but Nafahu will do a solid job in my opinion for the left uh sorry for before hooker I believe it is Phoenix Crossland which will be great I know he's been targeted in the last two years uh, he might have got approached last year I think he might have turned it down but his heart has probably changed uh Kieran did a great job last year um despite not being a typical hooker him and um uh, I forgot the, the brother's name that was the hooker last year, the backup. But they did a wonderful job, uh, but they were carried by a solid fallback. This time we've got a bit more experience with an actual quality hooker in, in Phoenix Crossland, who obviously has played hooker but didn't necessarily play that much. He was in the halves this season with the Knights, but I genuinely see him as our hooker option, and he could play in the halves if needs be. The other backup to that is Aaron Clark, who is kind of our utility player. I think Aaron will play uh, some hooker minutes at some point uh, in this series uh, in this tournament yeah so and then in the back row uh, pretty light in the back row this season um, but in saying that uh, with Nikoda out Nikoda's an absolute beast he shores up that right side defensively he's a workhorse it's a shame we're missing him but it's time for guys like Sorensen uh, Papa Lee uh, Ricky and Nikoda to get an opportunity Ricky and Newcourt are probably the two that haven't had the greatest season, and Sorensen's still coming back off a major injury, I imagine. Um, but he's also come into a grand final winning team playing his role. Papa Lee is well, you know, doing well, but at the Tigers. So the back row isn't as strong as what I believe it was last year. But as at this point in the stage, uh, I've got Sorensen starting at the left. Uh, oh, no, I've got Papa Lee, I believe, on that left edge, although it could be a, a pick, but you'd say Papa Lee will hold that spot with Sorensen as his back backup. Uh, and then you've got uh, Ricky and Newcourty. I will pick Ricky. Newcourty has been indifferent this season, had a pretty poor season. Uh, but I'd stick with uh, Ricky at this stage uh, and that on the opposite side, on the right side. Tarpini holds uh, the lock position. He's been an absolute beast. Uh, I know he. I think he won his, the Canberra medal again, or may, may have. Uh, but that combination with him in the front row with uh, JFH, Thompson, Tarpine will, will be solid. I think that those three will, will be solid in the middle. Um, but if you're looking for a, like for like replacement for him, I can't really see one apart from Arian Clark as a ball playing option. Um, but that's pretty much where I sit with the squad. Now, guys, I'm just going to quickly bring up my starting 17 here. As you can see, I've actually gone with Kenny. Uh, I think it might be a great option to have uh, Kenny there. Um, to kind of free CNK up to be more of a utility. CNK could play at 5'8", he could play at the centers. It's not the greatest. Uh, although I think they will pick CNK, I think Kenny would be uh, great to see at some point. Warbrook, like I said, will be on the right side. They will accommodate him, and I think Isako will go to the left. Uh, Timoko holds that right edge, a uh, right center spot with CNK, in my opinion. I just don't think Hiku will be at the level. I might be uh, wrong in that case. My ultimate bolter for that position would be Casey McLean, um, which I think he'll do a good job. Um, yeah, Nicolima and Hughes. Nicolima, obviously, they've had, he's had a good season at Dolphins. He's played in the Kiwis environment. I know Stacey will know him well. And same with Hughes. Uh, that kind of is a speedy, I suppose, running threat type halves. But... It, Expect Nikorima to struggle a little bit defensively. I, I find both halves will struggle if they are targeted in the back line. They'll need a bit of protection around them. Um, but specifically, Nikorima has struggled defensively, but he will provide speed on that edge. Um, and then, obviously, your front row for me, uh, Fisher, Harrison, Thompson. I think that's a good combo. Would like to see it. I know Thompson came off the bench last year. It might be his time to be a starter. Uh, and then you got Crossland who I think will be the starting hooker, Papali'i, uh, Ricky, and Tarpini. Those are, um, that's my starting team at this point. Uh, that could obviously change. I've got White uh, on as that impact forward. Clark is your utility forward. Uh, will play a bit of hooker, in my opinion, uh, to help Crossland out. Neem is that kind of another utility, uh, so, so not, not, but an impact forward. And Sorensen is my back row cover, uh, impact forward type player so that's what i've got so far guys um i hope that has been helpful uh, it's great to see the kiwi squad i'm looking forward to this tournament um please give us a like and subscribe comment below and i'll get to your responses as quickly as i can but let me know what you think is this a good squad is this a squad to go back to back pacific championship winners 
It's going to be very tough. Tonga looks very solid. Kangaroos always should be favourites based on their history. Um, but we, I, like, I like to see a lot of the younger guys get an opportunity. The likes of a Casey McLean, a Kenny would be great to see. Um, and just to see us perform to the best we can. I, I still believe we've got a strong shot. I don't think Australia's, you know, um, you know, impenetrable. They can't be beaten. We've proven that. But they will be back for vengeance. Uh, Tonga looks very strong with AFB, and we'll get into that Tonga squad soon. But ultimately, as a Kiwis fan and supporter, I hope we do well, um, and I hope we go on and win the tournament. But it's going to be a great time anyway, guys. Please, yeah, give us a like, subscribe. This is our review here at Waz Up TV of the Kiwi squad for this Pacific Championships. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Peace.